dear finance professionals and students welcome to podcast of fca deepak rao a practicing chartered accountant daily news and updates for 29th march 2024 the tata trust and tata sons are said to be closely monitoring the shapurji palonji group's bid to raise rupees 20000 crore from state run institutions to refinance debt taken against stakes in the tata group holding company the mystery family promoted shapurji palonji group holds an 18.37% stake in Tata Sons all of which is pledged against loans the Tata Trust own a controlling 66% of the holding company indian lenders and their credit committees would need to evaluate whether their inability to transfer or sell the security in a default situation represents an acceptable risk The Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs has approved a detailed standard operating procedure for officials of the Directorate General of GST Intelligence to improve the ease of doing business and prevent harassment of taxpayers during tax investigations, summons and searches. Several new economy ventures primarily in the fintech sector have received income tax notices in the recent weeks with respect to venture capital raised by them the notices served under section 68 of the income tax act have clubbed the investments received by these startups with the income earned by them and tax and penalties have been levied on the combined amount The Reserve Bank of India is likely to stick to its policy stance of withdrawal of accommodation, stating that less than half of the 250 basis point cumulative increase in rates in the current cycle of rate hardening was transmitted to outstanding bank loans. Transmission could be a key monitorable for the central bank before it decides to change its stance, which in turn is a precursor to a rate reduction. In a recent directive issued by the Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs, all field formations of customs across the country are mandated to remain operational on March 29th, 30th and 31st of 2024. These days will be treated as regular working days for customs personnel. Electric two-wheeler registrations on Thursday crossed the magical 100,000 mark for the second time since their launch in the country. They are now poised to create a new milestone by hitting the highest number of vehicles registered in a month with 3 days remaining for March to end. This podcast is sponsored by Sound of CA. We share